Yak, to come and read the reading. Um, this is a reading from Timothy 2, 47. It says, They will reject the truth and chase after myths, but you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid for suffering, of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. As for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. The time of my death is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable on thy side, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. You have had the reading, and before I just emphasize on the scripture, I would like to draw your attention. We are all South Sudanese, and the way we receive the word of God is through missionaries. Missionaries came in three spells. You know what the word of God was there in the book of Bible. It says, I don't want to go deeply that we are a Catholic church. But when the differences occurred between British and Rome, we were not there. But what brought the differences? It was just only the doctrine they would like to apply because those from Britain used to say priest will marry. And then Catholics say, no, priest will not marry. And then confession to come to the priest and say, I did this wrong, pray for me. They say, no, we have only one mediator. That is Jesus Christ. You just pray to him and tell him what you have done, God done, adoration of Mary. These are the three differences. So those of Rome were very smart because church is Catholic church, then they say we are going to call our church Roman Catholic. This was the problem. Because Rome took that to say Roman Catholic. Then the British say, okay, if that's the case, we are going to protest. We are going to be called Protestant. These are the different Protestant and Roman Catholic, but church is Catholic church. So when they decided to bring the word to us. The missionaries came in three spheres. Those of Roman and those of, of CMS, because when we had here, Mariama was brought up through CMS. The CMS is Christian Mission Society. They were coming from Britain. They went direct to Malik. Malik is a zone of danger. And then those of Rome, came from northern Barakazar. Then they start to preach the word. And then those of uh, Presbyterian, they just came from America and went to Dole and Nasser. So we are having only three denominations in southern Sudan. We have Protestant, Roman Catholic, and Presbyterian with the different missionaries, but one God is what people are adoring. So when you go, when South Sudan were three regions, you have Barakazal were having only two denominations. That is Protestant and Roman Catholic. They don't have Presbyterian. When you go to Central Equatoria, they have all the same. They have Protestant and Roman Catholic. And when you go to Upper Nile, they have two denominations. 
that is Presbyterian and Protestant. They don't have Roman Catholic. So when they came, the missionaries, the South Sudan, they start press of all to learn the mother tongue. And then when they finished by 1916, they crossed the river. They came to us in Bar Hazan, in a place called Chen, and they came to Rumbek. And from Rumbek, missionaries came direct to Moro, and then to Bari. So, Bari speakers are all CMS. Dinga are all CMS, and then Western Equatorial. So, what I said before, Bari, the Bari speakers, plus those of Western Equatorial, and Dinga, Dinga, the diocese was in Rumbek. That is starting from both and feel me, Moro, and Dinka, who were all under one diocese. And then was led by the Munir and the And then by the speakers, who were led by the Nani and the Lama. Because these protesters were really led by a white man, Paul Oliver. Oliver Ellison was the bishop in 1976. This is where South Sudan became a province. So what I want to say, we are all from different races and then one God. That's why when we pray, Dinka is this, and this is an Oro, but we sing together. Oro is singing with their mother tongue, and we are singing with the same tune. As what I said before, this is how we praise God in those days. So this is how we receive the word of God from the missionaries. For us, we should have to be careful. Because when we receive the word, in my mother tongue, I start my school in missionary school. That was a Rumbek. They called Rumbek 1, a challenge school. And then Rumbek 2 was Roman Catholic. So when I start my study, it was in missionary school. And I grew up and I didn't stop until I came to Egypt. I finished my studies in the university. I came as a migrant, but I was a lay reader until I came here. But we used to pray in our mother tongue. We pray in Dinka. Even if I can preside in English, but I would like to keep the mother tongue. So when I came to Calgary in 2002, I came as a lay reader. But I continue to lead my people until by 19, by 2019, we become a party within the diocese of Calgary. I was first of all sent to seminary, and I finished my studies. I did postgraduate studies in leadership and ministry, got ordained as a deacon, as a full priest, and I'm now leading Dinka as St. Paul Dinka Anglican Church. I'm leading them here in Calgary. I would like to keep the mother tongue to continue. We are now a party within the diocese. The Isis of Calgary, we have about 72 parishes, and we are one of it. So, when the time came, by Monday, just called home, and I was not at home, I went to hospital with my wife. He said, we had a memorial service, and we need leader to go and preside that. When I came, I was told, oh, by Monday, they are called here, their mom passed away, I know, yeah, I say, I know. They would like you to go and preside. I say, okay, the question came here. Because what is in your mind? I'm a Roman Catholic. Emma, you know she is, but I say yes. They are all Episcopalian. I say Episcopalian and Anglican, but what I know so far, there is no difference in adoration of God. Even when I was in the university, we don't have Anglican church. We do pray in Roman Catholic until I finish my studies. So these are human differences. So I say, okay, I will come and do it. So tonight, I'm here, preaching unto you and to myself, the word of God has manifold by God unto you. Because the role of the priest is to be in the middle, to take from God to man, and from man direct to the people. So you have the meeting, but before I go there, I would like to draw your attention. My sister Rita, when she Rita, yes, Rita was there. When she was talking here, 
I mentioned something called, as I can see, you will know it, opera. If I say opera, you will know exactly what is opera. This is a politics which really divides people. The lava plays a role to divide people through opera. But I to my mind first is Hillary Paul Gary. I asked my man and I say, this Maria is it sister to Hillary Paul Gary? He says, yeah, that's okay. I didn't talk to him why I asked him that question. But you saw Sudanese. Those who are now really their age from 60 upward, they will know what I'm saying. Among you here, if you are below that, you will hear it, but this is the history, not the story. We should have to keep the history. During the time of Kokhara, there are people who are really blessed. They don't want people to divide. I mean, we are having only three people in Central Equatoria. We have Hilary Paul Ugali, Itora Gama Hassan, and Joseph Udu. These three people were against something called Kokhara. But the Lama just put it on and they say no. They continue to do it until they left the world. So I can say, from the family of Paul Ugali, what do you think is not Mariama? Mariama inherit the legacy from the family. Because if there is no Paul Ugali, I think Hillary will not accept his sister to be married by Dinka. But it is because they are not dividing people. They say we are all one. So Bari, I will not say all Bari will be like Paul Ugali, but among them, there are people who are really accept the truth. So you South Sudanese, we should have to praise God. These people play their role. And from this family came Mariama, and Mariama accepted to be married to Dinka. It is because she inherited the legacy from the family. Why not you? You cannot do that? You can do that because it is you who can really do this. So let me go to the reading. I am going to be short. When I was asked to come and preach, I said, okay, God, what am I going to preach? Situation like this, we have two things. To hear the biography of the deceased and to hear what God wants from you. The reading I selected is Second Timothy, chapter 4, 6 to 7. But you know about Paul. Paul was the one writing then. Paul says, I fought a good fight. I finished the race. I kept the faith. But if we go back to the background of Paul, Paul in the beginning fought a bad fight. Can you agree with me? Paul fought a bad fight because he was the one torturing and killing the Christian. In those days, so he fought a bad fight. He didn't finish a journey and he was not keeping the pace. But one God called him to be really his, to do good things. That's why Paul was really the one who brought the word of God to those who are Gentile, those who are not Hebrews. So the letter, second letter of Paul to Timothy, he was writing to Timothy because Timothy was one of the followers to tell him what he can do when he's still living. And this second Timothy, first and second Timothy, letter of Paul, are talking about three things important. The quality is important to Timothy to continue to have faith in God. That's what Paul did to, to Timothy. What he did next, Paul had fought the good fight, completed the race that God had sent before him and had kept the faith. So what Paul did, Paul encouraged Timothy and you and me. What to do is by being an example, a faithful follower of Christ. So you should have to see yourself what change you bring in your life. Because what Paul needs from Timothy is also is unto you and me. So tonight, to be really a good leader and to be a God servant and to serve others 
It's not the priest. It's all the servant of God. Every one. The priest of Christ, but the servant of God, God wants you to do your part. In a different gift. There are different gifts, but one gift is only through the Spirit. Holy Spirit is giving different gifts, but in one body. So, those who have qualities of Christian, of Christian leadership, and those who serve God and others, and those who live a godly life, are those who are fighting the good fight in their lives. So it is up to you and me, when we are really doing good things, following God, then you are a good fighter. But if you are not really believing in God, you are a bad fighter. So God wants us tonight to fight. That what happened. But whoever was really taken from their fathers, from their mothers, and she did it, and also she repaired it to the kids. That's why people were talking like Lavina. She got from her mom. If she become a wife, how to really take care of the family? What about you and me? Those who have kids, you should have to do their role. So what is needed from us tonight is to fight a good fight and make sure that you are going to complete your journey in a nice way. To follow the word of God, serve others, that will be a blessing to every each one of us, me and you. So, what I would like to conclude is what our professor said about the politics back home. The Bible says, take out the blocks in your eye first before you see the other block. Because others will say, there's something happening back home. We have one block of, of back home, that's why we are here. And here now we have challenges. So we have now two blocks in two eyes. Are we there to see him? We are blind. Because two eyes are blocked. We have one back home and we have one here. So let me start and first to take this off, the one we have here. And then you go and take what is back home. So how to take this one off into God? If we don't come back to God, we cannot. And our kids are a problem. We brought them unto the world. If we don't show them the right way, who is going to be blamed? We we'll start blaming the kids, but we are the problem. If we don't come together to show them the right way, the kids will know nothing. There is culture shock. Then we we'll get most of them are on the street. Some of them are in the prison. But we are the road because we don't want to come together to have a united community. Because in this country, when you are really a strong community, government will not interfere into your affairs. But we don't have a strong community. Everybody say, I'm from this, I'm from this. But when you die like Mariama died, God will not call her body. She will, the God will call her name, Mariam. So do I and yourself, when you pass away, God doesn't go call you a dinka or you are body or you are from where? It's by your name. So what is really important tonight? You see, I was really happy when I just called Barry to come and sing him here. One is really happy to hear again Barry and sing in their mother tongue. And if they are singing and they, the kids, they don't know. <laughs> Later on, they will know nothing. So when you ask them, they will come and say, yes, I heard we came from Africa, but I don't know from where. But if the child says that, you are the cause if you don't teach your children. You should have to teach your children their mother tongue. And then in the school, kids here, I get Chinese kids that are speaking in Chinese. I get those from, uh, from uh, India that are speaking. And then those... Of you gathered us together to celebrate the life and legacy of our mom, Mariama for Lugali. Yes, we know that she has fought a good fight and now she has gone to be with you. And we thank you for your word that you encourage us with tonight. May you bless us with and may you bless your servants who delivered it to us. We know that your word will not turn you void 
but it will do something that you send it for. We honor you and we adore you because you are God. You have no beginning and you have no end. We are here to just give you thanks. And we are here to listen to your voice and we have listened and it is now the time for each one of us to examine his life or our life. Are we are in faith? Because it is that death is the destination of everyone. And we come here to examine if we are in you or not. And if not, what should we do? The word of God is asking us to come and ask if we are not with you. Because that is what you demand from each one of us, that you want us to be where you are. We thank you for coming together as a community. And that is what we want always, to be supporting one another. We thank you, Lord, for each one of us, those who are here, those who came to support Brother Yak and his family. May you bless each one of us, and may you guide all of us. We pray for our kids. May you be with them and guide them, and let them demand how you want for them to live. We pray for their life and we pray for their schooling and everything that they do. And also we pray for the parent to be supportive to this kid so that they may raise them up in your, in your ways. Because that what you said, we have to raise our kids in your ways. And if they grow, they will not depart from that way. Help families, Lord, because we are struggling with a lot. But if we come and commit our life to you, life will be easy because you will be supporting us, you will be with us, because that what you say, you will not leave us alone or ignore us, but you will be with us to achieve the end. I pray for the family. May you bless them and may you guide them and may you be with them in these times of, of, of celebrating. And we pray for our life as well, Father, as we are doing uh, our daily lives. We want you to be with us and to guide us and to be just near you because you are there always to help. We bless you and we honor you because we pray in Jesus' name. Okay, let us pray to bless the food. Father, bless the food and bless the hands that has made it. And let it be food to be taken so that he bless God. His strength in our life or to do what the things we can do. May you bless it and let it be a nourishing for our life. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore. Amen. May God bless all of us. Go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. Amen.